Welcome to the Daily Word for the Season of Epiphany. Today's reading is from the book of First Kings, chapter 11, verses 29 to 32, and chapter 12, verse 19. At about that time, when Jeroboam was leaving Jerusalem, the prophet Ahijah, the Shilonite, found him on the road. Ahijah had clothed himself with a new garment. The two of them were alone in the open country when Ahijah laid hold of the new garment he was wearing and tore it into twelve pieces. He then said to Jeroboam, Take for yourself ten pieces, for thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, See, I am about to tear the kingdom from the hand of Solomon, and will give you ten tribes. One tribe will remain his, for the sake of my servant David, and for the sake of Jerusalem, the city that I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel. So Israel has been in rebellion against the house of David to this day. This is the word of the Lord. The Merciful Punishment The Israelites had a strong wish to be ruled by a king like their neighboring countries. God warned them through Samuel that under a king's rule, they would suffer tremendously from their ruler. Nevertheless, they would not change their mind and their request was subsequently granted. Solomon became king of Israel following Saul and David. The last words from David to Solomon meant to remind the successor what God had said, If your heir take heed to their ways, to walk before me in faithfulness with all their heart and with all their soul, there shall not fail you a successor on the throne of Israel. 1 King 2.4 David even got God's promise, as the Lord said, Your house and your kingdom shall be made sure forever before me. Your throne shall be established forever. 2 Samuel 7.16 Shortly after he ascended to the throne, Solomon realized that he needed wisdom. When answering God, he said, Give your servant therefore an understanding mind to govern your people, able to discern between good and evil. Solomon did follow his father's words at the beginning of his reign. The nation became strong as he followed God's commandments and laws. He completed David's aspiration to build a temple for God. He also built a glamorous and luxurious palace, proving himself to be one of the mightiest king at his time. In hope to keep the peace under his reign, he followed the trend of marriage alliances and made princesses from numerous countries his wives and concubines. This, however, planted the root of his fall, as his wives tempted him to follow the other gods and go astray from Yahweh. God issued a warning. Since this has been your mind, and you have not kept my covenant and my statutes that I have commanded you, I will surely tear the kingdom from you and give it to your servant. 1 King 11.11 Yet the Lord at the same time showed his love and mercy when he said, Yet for the sake of your father David, I will not do it in your lifetime. I will tear it out of your hand of your son. I will not, however, tear away the entire kingdom. I will give one tribe to your son for the sake of my servant David and for the sake of Jerusalem, which I have chosen. After Solomon passed away, his son Rehoboam succeeded his throne. In response to the Israelites' request, he decided to take in the opinion of adding to their yoke. His decision drove the Israelites away. Jeroboam was a servant of Solomon, whom the king deemed a very able man. Ahijah, the prophet, tore his new garments into twelve pieces, from which he let Jeroboam take ten. Through the prophet, God told Jeroboam that he was going to rule ten tribes of the Israelites, fulfilling what God had told Solomon. The United Kingdom of Israel would doubtedly divide it. Our steadfast God could have punished the violators according to the covenant that had been made, yet our merciful Lord was more willing to keep the promise he gave to David, Your house and your kingdom shall be made sure forever before me, your throne shall be established forever. Let us have a time of reflection. 
Describe God according to your understanding. To receive baptism to follow God could be a quick decision. Do you always prudently make sure that the covenant you made at your baptism is being honored? When seeking advice from others, how do you judge if the advice is correct and whether it should be taken? Let us pray. Merciful and loving God of all, forgive us our sins in your love and accept us all. Grant us also the wisdom and comprehension so as to increase our understanding of you, that we can be more faithful to you and get closer to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord we pray. Amen.